Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to more Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we were last together, we powered Alucard up a little bit, and we were ready to take on the bosses, Gavin and Slogra. And we were able to defeat them with a little help from our friends in the live stream. We continued on with the game until we had made our way to the Marble Gallery, where we would eventually meet our end at the Chain and Gold Knights. But we are ready to continue on with our adventure. We are going to head back down this way just for a little bit, so we can reclaim that artifact that we have lost. this time. Also got another circlet. Okay, we got our relic back. We're gonna go back the way we came. Because I am not ready to deal with the enemies that are that way. In fact, I'm having a hard enough time dealing with the enemies that are this way. That's alright. As long as you guys are enjoying seeing me struggle through this, it is all worthwhile. Okay, rested, saved, let's move on. Ah, oh, can you see that little green guy over there? That is a flea man. The flea men are iconic enemies of the Castlevania series. See if I can... There we go. There's another one. That spell was... Tetra Spirits. It's sort of like Summon Spirit, but it will summon four of them to attack. And that one I get a lot of use out of. Wow, we're not even strong enough to put them down with one hit. Oh, who's this? Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alcard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again, if you live that long. Fair yeah, well. if I live that long. Oh, you may have just noticed that one of the statues up here moved. This is the clock room. We're going to be here a lot, because this is a very important room. Now, Maria was the same girl we saw at the very beginning of the game, except she was quite a few years younger, when Richter Belmont had uh, saved her from Dracula. She's running around the castle, too, causing all kinds of trouble. She's one of the few uh, NPCs in this game that will be, let's say, uh, helping us on our little adventure. We'll run into her a few more times as we play. 
Actually, I can... Yep, we can use Dark Metamorphosis against the Flea Man. And there are none left, so forget that. There's that crystal again that I don't really like. Stopwatch is a powerful and iconic weapon of the Castlevania series. It costs a lot of hearts, but it will freeze everything in the game. Well, not everything in the game, but it will freeze all the enemies on screen. It's also useful to find a couple of uh, hidden items. Oh, that is the, the Bible. This will create a shield around you that will protect you for a bit. Now. It's actually pretty darn good, but I never really took advantage of it when I would play. So I'm going to try to use it a little bit more when we're playing this time. Seal. There are a couple of doors like that through the course of the game. We're going to have to find some way to open them eventually. Ah, there's another monster vial. Again, those were things that I really didn't use that much over the course of the game. But I will, again, try to use things more often this time around. So let's give it a shot with the next enemy that we see. And there is our next enemy. Technically, yes, this is another monster girl. Although, that's, that's a rough one to wrap your head around. I am a little beat up, so let's heal. We can jump on this creature's back and attack that. Actually, now that we've gotten behind it, I don't think we need to hurt it. item that damages all enemies on screen. We might get some use out of that a little later. turn into stone, and that can be very problematic. Because while you're stone, you are very vulnerable to attack.
Oh, it's a trick. Get an axe. Now we are in the outer wall. And that is a Zircon. It's a sparkling ring that we can sell. It's the ring, these jeweled items are the only heads. Uh, only heads, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted by looking at the, the uh, live stream. These are the little jewels that we can sell for our money. They're some of the only items that we can sell. And there are more iconic Castlevania enemies, the floating Medusa heads. Oh, well, let's, let's not play with him. He is very dangerous. But if I can kill him, he has something very nice to get. Probably gonna have to lame it out, though. Missed good pass. The heads are such troublemakers. There we go. And what do we find? We find some pot roast. Now. Remember uh, in a previous video I was telling you one of the things I love about this game is there's always new stuff to find and all kinds of new little tricks to, uh, to take care of in the game? Well, this is one I only found out about recently. If we sit there in that corner, we will go down to this little room and get ourselves some nice little goodies. Normally, I would wait until much further in the game when I could turn uh, into Mist and get those items. But now we have them much earlier. And one of them is the Knuckle Duster, a very strong weapon that will let us start punching. And the other is the Mirrored Curus. This will increase our defense, but will also make us less likely to get turned to stone which is good, because there's so many Medusa heads floating around. That's right, not the, uh, not the Knuckle Duster, that's the, the Jeweled Knuckles. Now the real trick is going to be getting past the- oh, he's not there, thank goodness. I was going to say, getting past that knight was going to be the trick. Oh, jeez. Let's heal. Let's heal a little bit. Oh, I threw both of them. Bugger all. There it goes a little little eagle flying over to its nest. The eagle is just gonna hang out there for a little while. But if we go over here to this telescope and press up. We can see that there's somebody out there rowing on the water. Eagle friend has disappeared. Oh, and here's another little thing. See these chairs? 
We can actually sit in them. Most of the time it doesn't do anything. But if you wanted to, you can just sit down and relax. Oh, there's our eagle friend. That eagle will be doing different things at different ports of the game if we come back here. I'll try to remember to do that, but we'll have to just wait and see. Actually getting pretty close to our next boss fight. The question is though, will I be tough enough to take it on? So I'll say that this is actually, at least for me, this is actually one of the tougher boss fights. How are we doing on XP? It's probably going to be a little while before we get our next level. Are you? Wasn't too bad. I'm really hoping they'll drop something interesting. Yep, let's do that one more time. as well. Alright, let's take on the boss. Portal opens up and Alucard comes out. That is our evil doppelganger. And you know what? We put him down in our first shot. Those. Those fists, yeah man, they make a world of difference. And here I was trying to like walk up the fight as tough and stuff. All right, how are we doing on MP? Not quite high enough yet. And we get the Gladius. The Sword of Ancient Rome. Well, Sword of Ancient Rome doesn't hold a candle to our jewel knuckles, so we're gonna we're gonna keep using those. can't really get that yet. Maybe other people can, but I can't. I'm not, it's not a good jump for me. Let's 
still got it. We actually want to go this way, but I'm going to keep going up for a little bit more. here. A couple of enemies to take out. There's the relic, but we can't grab it just yet. And I also want to visit this room real quick. Because this is a teleporter room. In fact, let me show you on the map. If yeah, I should have probably told you this guys before. You hit select, you'll bring up the map, and it will show you where you've been and where you haven't. And we are in a yellow teleporter room. The red rooms are our save points. This is the first one we found so far. But it teleports us all the way back towards the beginning of the game. And we are now on the other side of that wall we couldn't get past. And we pull the wall down. We grab this max partner piece. And we're back over here with the zombies. But we are not done. Not yet. We're going to take that teleporter back to where we were. And as we find more teleporters throughout the course of the game, we'll be able to travel from them more and more quickly. But if we keep, keep... Oh, that's not pleasant. Some poor guy got hung out there to die by his ankles. Keep climbing, we'll find more stuff. Including this lever. If we hit the lever, we activate the elevator. It doesn't look like I can make that jump yet. Maybe I was just bad. Alright, I'm not going to screw around too much. Now this door will take us to a new area of the game. But we don't want to go to that area of the game just yet. The enemies there are very tough, very dangerous. But there is a save point. We're going to use it real quick. The Soul of Wolf. With the Soul of Wolf, we can change Alucard from a human being, well, uh, a vampire being, into a wolf. While he's in the wolf form, while he's in the wolf form, his moves and abilities change a little bit. He can actually run much faster. You can even jump further and higher. But one hit will transform him back into a humanoid. I really want to get past these Medusas and jump. And our heart max goes up again. Ow. The wolf form will be good to get around places quickly. It's also going to be good for getting to areas that we couldn't before. Alright, now we take the express elevator down. 
one more floor, please. Now let's see if I can make this jump. There we go. Oh, there's a little mouse over there. My motto, save smart, save often. This time we are going to go through here. And we are now in the Long Library. There are actually a lot of hoodies to find here. But we don't have all the equipment that we need to get those goodies. Take that, subspace. get more of them. Ah, and what do we have over here? The Bronze Curus. Well, it's about as strong as our mirrored one, but it doesn't protect us from stone. So we're going to keep what we have. Now, this room may look like it's just an empty little dead end. There's useful stuff we're going to be able to do here later. Annoying little flea man. weapon that we got from killing one of those enemies, and it is a two-handed bamboo sword. Not nearly as good as what we've got. with these enemies, these enemies will curse you if they hit you. And if you're cursed for a few, uh, few seconds, you will not be able to attack. actually have a pretty interesting way of attacking. Maybe I'll let one take a swing at me. Well, they will float around and just try to ram into you. 
but eventually they'll open up. And yeah, they'll... a skull will pop out, or daggers, or knives. I think it's a pretty visually interesting thing. Obtain the Fairy Scroll. That is a new relic. That will display enemies' names. So from now on, when we fight with enemies, we'll get their names. And these are magic tones. You're not dead. There we go. Hey, we're not doing too bad. Here. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young Master, I cannot aid one who opposes the Master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. And this is the Master Librarian. He is our shopkeep for this game. We can buy and sell items from him and do a number of different things. First, we'll take a look at the enemy list. I'm interested in this. The enemy list here will show us all the enemies that we can find over the course of the game and give us information about them. Like here is Dracula from the very beginning of the game. We don't know what level he is, but he's got 600 HP. He's strong versus nothing, immune to nothing, weak versus nothing, absorbs nothing, and drops no items. It's worth no experience. And we can look at other enemies, too. Like in this case, the Axe Knight is level 4, with 32 HP. It is worth 10 XP when you kill it. We know that it will drop an axe, but there's something else it could possibly drop, too. Which is why we're playing on Lucky Mode. With Lucky Mode, we're more likely to find those unusual items. Then we have the Tactics list. I'm interested in this. And that's how much they cost. 200, 500, 700. This is the tactics that you could use against the bosses. But they only show up after you've beaten the bosses. So, it, it, it's cute to grab and take a look at. But you've already beaten at the bosses at this point. Now, sell gems. I mentioned to you before we got the Zircon. Here we can come and sell gems to him and get a little extra money. We're at about 4,000 right now. And here are all the, uh, the items we can buy. We want that jewel of open. That will open the blue doors. He only has more than a cell. Sometimes he has more than one. He's got all kinds of items that we can use. Uh, usable items that we can only use once or twice, but he also has weapons that we can buy. Most of these weapons are not as good as the, uh, the jeweled knuckles that we have right now, but he does have some nice shields. Grab that while we're at it. Thank and you. you know what? I think we will get the reverse cloak while we're here. Thank you. We'll be back to play with him there later. For now. So yes, we now have the jewel of open, which will unlock blue doors. We can also switch the cloth cape cape for the reverse cloak. Buying the reverse cloak gives us a special uh, option in our menu now. We 
screw down the systems, we can change the cloak lighting. Normal or reverse. Right now it's blue and purple. So if we set it to reverse, it's purple and blue. And since we bought the map, we can now see all of the basic parts of the castle. Those are all the different areas we want to eventually get to. But there are also hidden areas that this map doesn't show. But we are done playing with the librarian for the time being. And I think this episode has gone on long enough. We're gonna go to our nearest save point and pull in an episode. But who knows, maybe while we're making our way there, and we're cracking these enemy skulls, we'll find something interesting. There you go. Well, we more or less want to go back the way we came, so I'm going to head to the save point down that way. There we go. Well, I would say this episode turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? Let's save our game and pull it an episode. I thank you all very much for watching. And again, as always, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care of yourselves.